a beautiful day before a large crowd at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Newtown have just opened the scoring after the very start of play. A try scored on the right wing by Kevin Bradstock. Bradstock being congratulated, and that's Neil Pringle feeling his face. He got away the vital pass to uh, give Newtown the first points in the match by three points to nil. Ground in excellent order. As I mentioned, a very good crowd. And the match being controlled today by Keith Page. The conversion attempt for the try will be taken by Ken Wilson. And at this opportunity, comments from Jim Lyle. Thanks, Alan. Both sides have done a fair amount of attacking and defending in the first few minutes of this game. It was noticeable that on both sides there has been a weakness around the edge of the rucks. And we just saw Newtown exploit this weakness with Pringle doing the, doing the lead-up work, a great try. And if both sides do not uh, close this weakness up, they'll both be um, in trouble later on in the game. Kicked it out to the left, it's straightening up, it looks good and it's there and it's five points to nil in favour of Newtown. Newtown go to a lead of five points to nil. The try scored by Bradstock and converted by Wilson. The only change in either side was the withdrawal of Barry Beath from the front row for St George. He's been replaced by Gary Souter who's wearing jersey number 24. St George running from right to left. This is Costa in the centres for Newtown. Playing it to Robertson. Costa is dummy half. Hansard has Williamson outside being chased through by Floyd. To Dawson, Hansard, Sullivan. Gary Sullivan underwent a fitness test this morning for that right knee, which you see heavily bandaged. But the ball was lost in the play of the ball, so the knock-on will be played. Possibly we'll, we'll be watching St George using their backs more today than what they have done in the in the past. Try and open the game up in that uh, area. Scrum is 10 metres inside the Newtown half. Served by the Newtown halfback Hansard and the ball not coming out. The penalty goes to St George. So the penalty awarded in a position that will enable St George to gain extra territory. Barry Halpert is the captain today for St George in the absence of Beath, Langlands and Smith. Good decision by Halpert. It's a fair breeze into the kick if, if he would have taken a kick for a goal, so he'd like to do fine touch. Ferguson, who's been a tremendous success in switching to lock forward, playing it just on the Newtown quarter line. Rasmussen. This is Starkey at dummy half. Suter on the other way. Ready down the middle. Got enough way to Ferguson. Playing it to Halpert. Smith has Goodwin outside. Smith going the other way though. Caught by Pringle. Rasmussen. Suter. Had the ball lost and it's Sullivan for Newtown on the Newtown quarter line to Robertson Costa good dummy from Costa didn't uh, work effectively though to Casey up the blind side Hansard saw that gap but it closed very quickly when he went for it Dawson Now, last tackle is coming up for Newtown. They're just short of halfway. Newtown leading by five points to nil. Williamson has Floyd there. Back inside, Casey. Good backing up by the prop forward. He was in a position to take the pass, although he didn't get anywhere in doing so. It'll be interesting to watch the duel between Floyd and uh, Goodman. They'll both have to come into this back line to make a break. That's where the break will be made, and it will be uh, interesting to see who does the most damage. Hansard was put to ground by Smith. It's Floyd had support in Costa. Pringle. Crashing runner is Pringle up to the quarter line. Sullivan, now it's Melville. 
Now St George are in trouble. They have to keep Newtown out here. Wilson to Pringle. A short kick over the top. Being chased through by Gordon in the centre. It's Goodwin there. And punched over the line by centre Finch. Ed Goodwin will restart play for St George. Hansard getting under it on the quarter line. Newtown still in a position to attack. Now let's watch them move from here. Dawson is dummy half on the quarter line. Going himself up the blind side. They're working it to take it through the forwards. Wilson reversing it. A long one out to Casey. Good move. Still short of the St George line. Sullivan, Hansard, Wilson trying to beat Ferguson. Robertson dummy half for Newtown. Hansard, kick through for Casey. And Russell Cox running it out over the dead ball line. So once again, the play will have to be restarted from underneath the St George posts. The pressure's really on St George. Newtown are varying their play. They're throwing it wide, then bringing it back in through the middle. It's good football. A high drop kick from Goodwin. It doesn't gain that much distance. Wilson now. Newtown playing most of the game inside the St George quarter. Hansard. Away from Ferguson. Hansard caught though by Suter. Robertson again dummy half. Signalling to the open side of the field. Dawson. Starkey and Smith the tacklers. Assisted by Suter. Robertson. Hansard. Wilson. Costa there. Costa around. Costa going for the line. Looking for support and it's there. And Gordon the centre will score. The try scored by Peter Gordon in the centres. The second try for Newtown. It takes them to a lead of eight points to nil after 16 minutes of play. Good football, uh, football by Newtown. They worked the forwards a couple of times and used their backs. Costa broke through well. And instead of keeping the ball going out, he sent somebody who was inside and threw a perfect inside pass. It's good football by Newtown. An easy conversion attempt for Wilson, almost straight in front. And as we expect, the extra two points. Wilson, two goals from two attempts. Play restarted by Halpert, kicking to the west or the eastern side of the field. Williamson back with the ball. Caught by Suter. The ball on the ground, snapped up. Starkey. Suter, Smith, Halpert, Petherbridge, St George starting to attack. We haven't seen any from them yet. To Rasmussen, Smith, Halpert, Reddy has gone inside. Now Ferguson, dummy half, up the blind side. Caught by Costa. Close to the touchline. Out to Halpert now, Reddy outside. Goodwin is up from fullback. Reddy was waiting for Goodwin to appear on the scene, but he got there a little bit too late. The defence was too intent on keeping him there. Scrum is 10 metres away from the Newtown line. The St George ball out to Halpert. No, it went further afield, out to the centres to Petherbridge. Petherbridge in trouble. Look at that cover defence, and Wilson has it for Newtown. Well, that was swarming cover defence that prevented a try there. Yes, great defence by Newtown. They're backing up the man all the time, which is what the name of the game, as far as defence is concerned, is. This is Casey. Almost up to his own quarter line, playing it to Hooker Robertson. Williamson from the far side wing. Pringle. Too fast for Suter. Not for Ferguson, though. Wilson reversing it to Williamson and Suter for St George. Smith, Smith, caught by Dawson. Halpert. Halpert, tackled by Dawson. Midway between the Newtown quarter line and halfway. Ferguson, almost out of the quarter line. 
Finch, Smith, Halpert, Petherbridge has Goodwin outside. There's Goodwin. Goodwin out to his winger. Back inside it went. Three St George players going for the ball then. We notice with Newdown hammering this middle, the forwards, Ferguson's getting through his usual amount of tackling. Incorrect feeding of the scrum by halfback Hansard. Putting it into the second row, and so the penalty is awarded to St George, and Halpert once again will kick for the far touchline. Remember, the breeze is blowing against St George in this first half. So second kick will be taken by Ferguson. Smith, Halpert, Ferguson, almost got through and found Reddy backing up. He left the ball behind and Robertson has it for Newtown on his own quarter line to Melville. St George have had a fair amount of possession but they've lost it and Newtown have done a lot better with, with the ball. Casey to Hansard, Floyd, Sullivan, out it went, almost an intercept, Bradstock. Caught by Finch. Costa, Sullivan, trailed through by Dawson, Sullivan will play it on halfway. Robertson, Hansard, Wilson, Floyd, but it went to Pringle. Hansard, Wilson, Costa. Floyd left it behind him. Good backing up though by Wilson. One tackle to go. Wilson is the kicker for Newtown and he's playing the ball. Robertson. Good attacking by Newtown. They're changing the point of the attack, throwing it wide as I said earlier and then bringing the ball back into the middle. It's good variation. Costa had Floyd coming up with him. Costa, Pringle. Backing up the man beautifully. Pringle accelerating, couldn't get the ball away. Gordon, Floyd, long one out to Costa. Both sides playing a centre side. Halpert. Barry Halpert in only his first season for St George is captaining the side today. Out to Petherbridge who accelerates quickly. Petherbridge caught by Bradstock. There's Chapman. Good tackle to Floyd and Petherbridge again. Got it away. Starkey. <laughs> Playing it to Smith. St George attacking. Goodwin. Help it. Goodwin again. Long pass. Finch out to the winger. Mills coming in field. Mills close. Goodwin, Smith, and there's to Tong uh, Toga, Tonga. And O.C. Tonga is on the field as a substitute for St. George, wearing number 19, Halpert. Long one to the centres, Ferguson to Petherbridge. Knockback ruled, Petherbridge can play on. And does he play on? Look at him go. One tackle to go, St. George pressing the Newtown line. Smith. And with uh, Inossi Tonga on the field, it looks as though uh, Russell Cox has been replaced. The scrum close to the Newtown line. Pringle, who was standing out from the scrum. Dawson. On the Newtown quarter line to Wilson. Sullivan, Floyd, no, it's Gordon. Looking for Williamson, found him too, well tackled by Mills. To Sullivan, Hansard, Wilson, Costa. Lovely tackle from uh, Ferguson. Wilson, it's Robertson, to Dawson. Williamson. And once again, caught by Mills on the far wing. One tackle for Newtown. Dawson just running it into touch. Newtown have moved the ball relentlessly up towards the St George goal line, putting themselves in a position to attack the St George line. The scrum is going down on the St George quarter line. 
Another Newtown ball and another Newtown penalty. And St George just can't do a thing right at the moment. Wilson attempting the penalty goal from about 24 metres out. It looks pretty good. He's got another two points. And this has been a good half for Ken Wilson and for Newtown because the lead is 12 points to nil with about 10 and a half minutes to go before the break. Robertson, he wasn't marked. The defence had their backs turned to uh, Robertson as he took the tap kick. Hansard got it to Casey, caught high. It's good ball and all tackle. Tackler was Tonga on the quarter line. Robertson, Hansard, Wilson. St. George just uh, uh, knew down to starting the laps a little bit now. They're waiting for the ball instead of running onto it. Hansard going through, and there's good backing up with Sullivan getting it to Dawson. Dawson out to the winger and Bradstock. Second try, but the pass was forward. The pass from Sullivan to Dawson was forward. A near thing, though, and it emphasised once again the weakness of the St. George defence just there. Chance for Newtown to attack. Wilson. Melville. Got it back. That was good backing up. Newtown playing the ball. Dawson dummy half to Gordon. Going straight through the middle, and he's very nearly there. Just pushed back at the last moment. Playing it to Dawson. Tackles running out for Newtown. Gordon. Melville. Was not coming through on the burst. He was standing flat-footed when he took the pass. One tackle to go. Hansard. Sullivan. And St George winning one of very few scrums that they've won to date. They needed that one, though, just out from their own line. This is Tonga. Petherbridge caught, got it away. Chapman caught by Costa and Robertson. Rasmussen ready. Ferguson Smith. Newtown are much more effective in their straight line defence. They're going up as one and not one after another. Suter. Halpert. Smith. Goodwin. Long one out to Chapman. And ready. Good backing up with Ferguson there. Goodwin is with him. This could be a try coming up. Out to Goodwin. Back inside. Ferguson couldn't take it. Bad luck, St George, but Newtown had the ball. And the penalty goes to Newtown. Roy Ferguson penalised for not getting off Tom Melville and allowing that Newtown prop forward to play the ball. It, it is, it's hard for a team to lose all those players. They, they formulate teamwork throughout the season. And to lose five or six players all at one go is just a little bit hard to cope with. That's Sullivan playing, or who will play the ball now for Newtown, to Robertson. Midway between the Newtown quarter line and halfway. Six minutes to go before half time. Dawson. Robertson. Sullivan. Pringle. Neil Pringle's been everywhere so far. He's been backing up and defending. Hansard, Wilson, Newtown lined out now to Costa, out to Floyd. Wilson, kicking ahead for the line. It looks pretty good, that kick too. Will it be? No. Coming back in field. So Mills playing it to Tonga. Sullivan low, Casey high. Rasmussen. Halpert's pass to Goodwin. Long one out to the centres. Chapman caught by Bradstock. To Finch. Smith and Reddy. Rasmussen. Suter, Ferguson, Ferguson, 
play on the St George quarter line. Goodwin. That's a high kick. Floyd waiting on halfway. Caught by Finch and uh, Mills. Costa dummy half. Pringle. Suter and Tonga, the two defenders on halfway for St George. Pringle playing it to Robertson. That's Williamson. It's good to see a winger roaming over the field. They tend to stick to their wings in most cases, but Williamson is everywhere. Hansard and Casey. Hansard, Wilson, Sullivan, Gordon, Floyd. Out to Costa, but Floyd has it still. That's better. Floyd is on the burst. They're much better than stand standing in the line. Costa. Casey. Now it's Melville. Melville. And that was the sixth tackle, so a scrum will be put down just out from the St George line. St George have won very few scrums. They need to win this one to prevent any further points being scored against them in this half. Smith. To Reddy. Tonga. He seems the freshest of the St George forwards. He's already played a full game in reserves, but here's a chance with Halpert. Midway between the quarter line and halfway. Playing it to Starkey. Smith. Goodwin. Has Reddy outside. Reddy coming inside. A good run from Goodwin over halfway. There's Reddy. Reddy on his way. Reddy caught by Floyd. Got the ball to uh, Ferguson and, and to Mills. Smith, help it, let it go to Goodwin. Has Petherbridge with him. Out to Finch, behind him. Chapman. Tackler was Bradstock. Much better football by St George. They must use this back line. They cannot go through the new down forwards. They must throw the ball out and have Goodwin on the burst, as we just saw a moment ago. He's a brilliant footballer. He can do this, and they must be using him. Could be the last scrum of the first half being put down inside the Newtown quarter line, but the penalty is to St George. And I wonder what Halpert would do here. Two points isn't really much good. No, Halpert was, should aim for touch and put on the uh, put on a move for the last um, movement of the game, even put it in the air after the free kick. So Halper takes the formality of getting a little bit closer to the Newtown line. Now let's see if St George can score here. Ferguson. Roy Ferguson was the man to burst through there had he been moving when he took the ball. Rasmussen. To Starkey. Smith. Trying to get through, he did, there's Ferguson. Caught by Casey and Dawson. That was better by Ferguson, running onto the ball harder. Suter, half-time siren is going. Smith, quick passing, Halpert, kick up in the air for the centres. Petherbridge chasing it through, Williamson waits. Finch almost got it. Rebounding and Mills, Mills going for the line and pushed out. So, an exciting end to the first 40 minutes of play with Newtown holding a half-time lead of 12 points to nil. Newtown is coming, hear the blueback humming. Newtown, Newtown, Newtown. Although Sydney Mutual Bank was launched as a new brand last year, we have been helping the people of Sydney and beyond with their finances since the early 1960s. For over five decades, we operated as a credit union, offering the same service as a bank does. In 2019, we swapped from a credit union to a bank and changed our name from Sydney Credit Union to Sydney Mutual Bank. At Sydney Mutual Bank, you're not just a member, you're an owner. This means that 100% of profits benefit customers, both financially and socially. We have been supporting the Marrickville community since 1982, and we are proud sponsors of Newtown Jets since 2012 attending home games with our best seats on the hill competition and Sid the Pig. Our products and services are designed to assist in the financial education and growth of the youth and young adult sector, as well as facilitating community initiatives in the local areas surrounding our branches. 
We offer a competitive range of banking products from savings accounts, children's accounts through to competitive rate home loan products. Exclusive deals are available for Loyal Jets members and through the COVID-19 pandemic we are still operational through our vast branch network, call centre and online facilities. One of our branches is now located on the ground floor in Marrickville Metro if you wish to say hello. Hashtag we are 8972. Hashtag keep the jets flying. Keep safe blue bags. We can't wait to see you on the other side. Now the restart of play taken by Halford. A long kick goes to Floyd. The Newtown fullback in his own quarter. Good backing up from Pringle on the quarter line. Playing into Gordon. Sullivan going up the blind side with him. Gordon almost through. To Wilson. Melville. Sullivan. Almost on halfway. Robertson is the dummy half. Hansard. Wilson. Coming back in amongst the forwards and caught on halfway with one tackle to go for Newtown. Casey accelerating, almost got it to Williamson and the ball into touch inside the St George half. Scrum being served by halfback Smith of St George. Another Newtown ball, Wilson, Hansard, if it went to Pringle instead. Hansard, Costa, Dawson, playing it to Sullivan, it's Melville, Casey, Hansard, Wilson, good tackle there from Ferguson, Playing it to Gordon, Hansard, Sullivan. Long one out to Floyd, who took it well. Floyd, support inside to Costa, and Costa will score. That's a good try to Newtown, a very good try indeed. Scored by Steve Costa. Good football by Newtown, just hammering that line of the fence. It had to happen. They were just changing the point of attack and then bringing the fullback in on the burst, which caught the opposition of St George uh, wanting. Good try. Left foot kick that brings up the two points and Newtown goes to a lead of 17 points to nil after only four minutes of the second half. Scrum midway between the Newtown quarter, way, quarter line and halfway. Newtown leading 17 nil. Wilson, Costa, here's Floyd from full back. He's almost through the gap. Floyd away, looking for support. And there it is out to his winger, Bradstock, who couldn't hold it. Pringle going the blind side. Got away from Smith. Neil Pringle, will he score? He won't, but there's a try nevertheless. It was scored by Floyd. Once again, the lead-up work was done by Neil Pringle. Good football by Newtown, picking the ball up from the base of the scrum, going in the blind. The opposition thought that Pringle possibly would go to the open, but he deceived them, went the blind, made the break, and it was picked up his uh, winger very well. It's good football. So for that try, Wilson has his hardest kick to date for the conversion. Nevertheless, a good-looking kick, a beautiful kick. Ken Wilson, four goals for uh, five goals from five attempts now. Interesting to watch Wilson when he kicks the ball. He tends to stab at the ball a little bit, which some people say you shouldn't do, but he's very effective today. Pringle. Midway between the quarter line and halfway. Melville. Casey. Melville again, almost up to halfway, in fact is there. Wilson, over the top to Sullivan, Sullivan accelerating, support both ways, Floyd to Wilson, the pass was forward and in fact offside. The scrum is midway between the Newtown quarterway, quarter line and halfway and Smith has it for St George, got it to Starkey who broke very quickly from the second row. Finch is dummy half, going the blind side. Starkey, Smith, Tonga. Oh, 
to Ferguson. Smith. That's Halford. Got away from Gordon, not from Pringle though, but the ball got to Reddy, and on it goes to Smith, who picked it up beautifully. St George are looking a lot better now to Reddy. Starkey, a suitor to Starkey. One tackle to go, Ferguson. High kick, going backwards though. Bradstock lost it. Play on, it was uh, the advantage rule played, a Newtown ball, Costa playing it to Melville. St George looking better, they can do it if they throw the ball around, but they tend to they tend to panic a little bit. Just settle down and play the ball. It's Casey playing it. Costa is dummy half. Pringle. Almost up to their own quarter line. Now Wilson calling for it. Kicking for the line and finding it too with a good kick. The scrum being set about 10 metres inside the Newtown half. Referee Page calling the both sets of forwards across to the mark. And the penalty goes to St George. Against the Newtown front row for collapsing in the scrum. Two points isn't any good here. They must find touch. They have the win with them right in the corner and then hammer the line from there. Almost down to the Newtown quarter line with about 25 minutes remaining in the match. It's Rasmussen. Smith. Halpert's pass to Petherbridge going the other way. Caught by Melville. Sullivan it was, number 10. Rasmussen. Starkey, a suitor it is. Tonga. Lost the ball. He regained it, but he lost it momentarily, so that's enough to cause the knock-on. We've seen two or three wrap-around movements in this game, but it's no good unless the man running around the ball carrier at least straightens up and goes at 45 degrees, not across or backwards. And a Newtown ball with Costa taking it upfield. Costa accelerating over the quarter line and a good tackle from behind by Mills. Playing it to Williamson. Pringle. Sullivan. Casey. Hansard. No, it's Wilson. To Robertson. Sullivan. Back the other way to Floyd. Casey got it back. It's gone to Wilson. That's Melville up the middle. Melville over halfway and got it away to Dawson. Dawson across. Ready too. Good cover defence from Rod Reddy. Hansard. That's Casey. Down to the St George quarter line. Hansard. Dumped to the ground by Halbert on the quarter line with one tackle to go. Wilson positioning himself behind the ruck. Goes to Melville. Chasing it through. Reddy has it for St George. Chapman. Rasmussen. Tonga. Rasmussen. Suter. Wilson, the tackler, going low. Sullivan, high. On the St. George quarter line. Rasmussen, Smith, Petherbridge. Has Goodwin outside, but he'll have to play it there with one tackle remaining. Smith is dummy half. Halpert. Kicking ahead. Williamson in the way. Well controlled by Lionel Williamson. Halpert chasing him across field. Williamson straightening up. Caught by Finch and Rasmussen. Floyd. Pringle. What a non-stop display this Pringle's given us today as he gets it to Costa. Kicking ahead, a race for the ball between Goodwin. Here's Reddy back there. Reddy back acting in another line of defence and he was caught knocking the ball on. It was only by a minute degree, but it was there. He didn't pick it up cleanly. 
good decision by Page. He was right on the spot and saw that one uh, well. It's interesting to note, if a side's going well, it seems to be also seems to be very lucky, and everything is going New Down's way at the moment. Ferguson trying to push up Robertson, who came again. Look at this Newtown defence settling themselves into a straight line across the field. Tonga got it back. Starkey and to uh, the other second row was ready in the clear now. Uh, Goodwin and he was caught offside. Goodwin taking the pass in front of uh, Reddy. Interesting, interesting to see Tonga developing this. Uh, characteristic of going into the tackle and lifting the arms to ensure that he has his arms free to pass the ball. It's something we see Arthur Beetson of Eastern Suburbs do a lot and it's a good uh, trait for a forward to develop. So Wilson now has the chance of putting another two points on the board for Newtown to further increase their lead. They're leading by 22 points to nil at the moment with 21 minutes remaining. Wilson placing the ball just out from the quarter line and not very far to the right of the post. The breeze is still blowing from left to right, so he'll be kicking into it, but it uh, doesn't appear to have affected Wilson's ability today because he's landed five goals from five attempts and not all of them have been as easy as this one. He's very methodical in everything he does, Wilson. He takes his time, makes sure the ball is placed exactly how he likes it. And then notice he keeps his head right down to the last moment. as Ken Wilson uh, has quite uh, a high mound on which to place the ball. And obviously with that stab movement with his foot, he's able to get plenty of lift uh, from it from the angle that he places it. Wilson, a left foot kick. And he's missed that one, kicked it to the right. Still 22 points to nil. Ken Wilson disappointed. He's only kicked five from six attempts. Ted Goodwin restarting play for St George and it's a long kick, a very good kick indeed. It's caught by Bradstock. St George players moved up very quickly for a change to keep Newtown down near their, well, in their own half. They haven't been doing it today. This is Dawson. Tonga and uh, Rasmussen are the defenders. Got it away to Casey. Hansard, Costa going with him, Hansard through the gap, Costa going infield, lost the ball, St George ball being played by Chapman, Rasmussen, Goodwin, out towards Petherbridge in the centres, on his own quarter line, Smith, that's Halbert, Finch, Smith. St George aren't running onto that ball. They're standing at the moment. Suter. Ready. Ferguson up the middle. Last tackle coming up. The wingers dropping back for the kick. Smith going straight to Williamson. The Newtown captain right back on his own goal line. St George players have moved up in defence. Can he break through? He can't. Newtown now in their own quarter with Pringle running it out. Pushing off Finch but not Mills. Finch came again. Costa. Sullivan. Robertson, Hansard, Casey, Wilson dropped it behind him. Disputed possession, but a knock on to both sides in their efforts to gain possession there. About 18 minutes to go, Newtown leading 22 points to nil. 
scrum midway between the Newtown quarter line and halfway. St George sent it to Goodwin who picked it up nicely. Goodwin. Playing it to Finch. That's ready. Gets the ball back. It's Finch. Mills pushed into touch by Williamson. New down uh, St George at the moment seem to be playing on hope. They're not organising themselves quick enough. They, they're just throwing the ball for the sake of throwing it. Floyd calling for it. Costa. Floyd. Dawson. Floyd. Wilson. Long pass. Costa again coming in field. Wasn't marked. That was the fifth tackle. Wilson reversing it. Casey standing wide. Fifteen minutes to go before full time. 22 points to nil is the score. The scrum is just away from the St George quarter line and the penalty from it goes to Newtown with a loose arm in the scrum there against one of the St George front rowers. The reason for the St George front row collapsing. And Wilson uh, going to have another shot for uh, the touchline. It's obvious referee Page knew what was going on. He ran right around the other side of the scrum to make sure his decision was right. Wilson finding touch on the quarter line where the second kick now will be taken by Hansard for Newtown. Robertson. Hansard, the halfback, will play it. Casey. Sandwich there between Starkey and uh, Tonga. Melville. Melville lost the ball. Tonga for St George, just away from his own line. Rasmussen. Smith. Suter. Ready. Suter, Smith, Halpert, now it's Starkey. To Rasmussen on the quarter line, that's Halpert. Halpert, a good run, caught by Pringle, but there's Ferguson backing up. How fast is Roy Ferguson as he kicks ahead from Floyd, obstructed by Floyd, the pole downfield. Williamson has it for Newtown. Costa. Caught by Petherbridge and Smith. Gordon, Dawson. Good backing up to Gordon. To Robertson, Melville. Players running with uh, far less pace than they were earlier, but it's been quite a warm day in Sydney for football. Hansard. Sullivan, good backing up, Wilson is there, caught by Suter. Hansard's playing good football today, he's running and throwing the man into a gap, a la Tommy Bishop. Costa, who's also had a good game, Floyd is with him, went to Williamson, Williamson away from his winger, he's looking for Floyd, beats Goodwin, Lionel Williamson will score, what a good try to the Newtown captain. Great work by Lionel Williamson. He may be getting on in years, but that run didn't suggest so. A uh, little bit of a weak tackle by Goodwin. He had the sideline as another man. He didn't use it. He ran too far, and this allowed the uh, winger Lionel Williamson to step inside. 
Goodman should have used the sideline and forced Lionel Williamson towards it. Barry Halpert to restart play with the try not converted. It's still 25 points to nil. And that last try has made a line of scoring for Newtown. Each member of the three-quarter line plus the fullback have e has each scored a try. So Newtown taking the ball back up towards halfway again. About 10 minutes to go. Sullivan. Melville. Hansard. Wilson. Gordon. Costa. Held to the ground by Robert Finch. Williamson. Trying to burst through that gap again. Casey arriving just a little too late. Melville. Wilson. Angling that kick for the line and Goodwin uh, Mills couldn't keep it in play. Brian Smith of St George is trying his heart out. He's only a little fellow, but he definitely hasn't the ability to set up play like Billy Smith does. Billy Smith is out injured and uh, St George are missing him tremendously today. St George uh, looking as though they're making a replacement. We'll pick that up for you in a moment. This is Gordon in the centres. Pringle getting the ball away to Floyd. Floyd lost it. Knock on to both sides. Scrum one by Newtown. Bradstock. Wilson's pass, the long one. Out it goes to Gordon now. Gordon around Finch. Sullivan. Wilson. Melville kicking ahead. Mills running it out over touch in goal. It's good to see these, these Newdown forwards using their heads today. I'm not saying that forwards don't use their heads, but Newdown forwards are. They're employing little kicks. They're varying their play in a lot of ways, and they're, by doing this, they're getting St George in a lot of trouble. This is Pringle. Pringle still going on to Melville. He'll be in. That's another try. And it's the third try that has, in fact, been set up by Neil Pringle, who's being congratulated by Melville. Great footballer Neil Pringle. He employed the step there, a lock forward stepping off his feet, which is good. But the try was presented to Newdown because St George did not move up. They left gaps and they at, it did not seem interested as that uh, Newdown raid was, was exploited. Wilson making... It's six goals from eight attempts, and the scoreboard moves further up for Newtown. 30 points to nil, with about seven minutes to go. A replacement being made in the Newtown side. Ken Wilson is the player who's left the field. Gary Sullivan, number 10, is often Ken Wilson, number 6. Say St George had the ball down on the uh, quarter line. A chance for them to attack. Bramley gets his pass away to Goodwin. St George now moving the ball out. That's Bell. The replacement player for Gary Sullivan. While Newtown have the ball, one of the St George players is on the ground injured. It's Gary Suter, the prop forward. Melville for Newtown, caught and gets it away to Bell.
Gordon. Newtown using their backs with Pringle now, not able to hold it, and Finch has it for St. George. St. George desperate to get some points on the board. It's been a long while since they've been held scoreless, and Petherbridge has it. ball was lost as you saw in the play the bell the play the ball so uh, the player who caused it was Dave Bell Newdown would be excused for relaxing a little bit at this stage of the game they've won the game well and truly but they haven't well, they're not relaxing they're carrying on with the job and employing their defensive record that they uh, have or have had during the year Suter Dawson and Hansart with the two Newtown defenders. Rasmussen, Smith. Halpert. Petherbridge. Petherbridge. Bramley couldn't take it. That's Bell. A Newtown player injured on the ground. It's Neil Pringle with Hansart having it. Newtown now using their backs again. Gordon. Gordon upfield. Mills after him. Good tackle by Mills. Players on halfway. Williamson, Floyd, Hansard. Steve Hansard, one player who is still running with the same dash as when the game began. The kick is from Robertson, and it's a pretty good one for a hooker. Finding touchdown on the St. George quarter line. Scrum served by Smith for St. George. Quick passing now to Halper to Goodwin. Goodwin to Finch. Finch almost through, gets a long pass over the top to Petherbridge. On halfway, knock on again, and that's been the story of St George's game today. Losing possession whenever they've had a chance. When everything goes wrong, it goes dead wrong for these sides. They, the other side gets their head in the air, and uh, the St George at the moment cannot cannot uh, lift their game they're missing Langland Smith and company and the three or four other fellows they have out and they just seem a, a sorry lot out there at the moment on halfway Rassab Ferguson to Goodwin long one to Finch can't get away from his uh, opponent but Petherbridge has it and Petherbridge is going downfield Beats Floyd, good play, and Ferguson, and Ferguson will score. Roy Ferguson scores. St George opened their scoring account after 78 and a half minutes with Roy Ferguson placing the ball between the posts. 30 points to three. Good football by Petherbridge. He's too good a footballer not to to have at least one good run today. He's been a little bit contained by the new down of defence but there they hung off him for that slight moment he seized the opportunity and by sidestepping his way through he was able to chalk up the first points or lead to the chalk up the first points by St George Halpert attempting the conversion from straight in front 30 points to 5 with about 50 seconds to go And so Newtown, uh, who had a very good record at the start of the season, they win something like four games before they conceded a try. And uh, they obviously set out to try and prevent St George from crossing their line in this match, and they, well, nearly succeeded, all but a minute and a half. Restart of play will be made by Hansard. Quite a long kickoff goes to Goodwin. Full-time siren is sounding as Goodwin steps away from Bell, gets the ball away to Finch. 
and Finch is going upfield. The ball back inside. And that is the end of the match with Newtown demoralizing St. George by winning 30 points to five. For Newtown, try scored by Floyd, Williamson, Gordon, Costa, Bradstock, and Melville, and Wilson kicked six goals from eight attempts. For St. George, a try to Ferguson, converted by Halpert. Newtown defeating St. George, 30 points to five in our top Saturday league at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Mm-hmm.